All right, we're live. Hey everyone, welcome to Astro 10. I wanted to make a, a hopefully short video announcement, right? Showing you that there is an actual, you know, human of flesh and bone on the other side of the computer, okay? So I'm your instructor, Dylan Trelawney. Um, so I wanted to highlight a couple very important um, pieces of information before we start the class, all right? The first is that if you're seeing this announcement before the start of class, right, before June 21st, then that means you're enrolled in the course already, okay? And you should have access to Canvas. If you're seeing this for the first time on Monday, <clears throat> excuse me, that means that you probably were on the wait list, okay? So you should have gotten then an ad code Monday morning allowing you to enroll in the course. Okay. If you did, if you were on the wait list, you should have gotten an ad code. Um, if you didn't, let me know. Actually, you can't let me know because you wouldn't have access to Canvas, so you wouldn't see this. Never mind. You should have gotten an ad code Monday morning. You need to enter that ASAP. Okay. As soon as this video is done, enter that. Right. Canvas and Web Advisor sync up twice a day at noon and midnight. Okay. So the sooner you enter that ad code, the sooner you can enroll in the course officially, and the sooner you can have access to Canvas. Okay, it's not necessarily an immediate thing as soon as you enter that code, right? It's either at noon or midnight, whichever of those times comes after when you typed in that code. Okay, so please do that soon. Secondly, let's go over the, the uh, text. It's this right here at play in the cosmos, right? The second edition, not the first. Um, it looks like this. I find this is a very, very good book. It's very well written, especially, and it's designed especially for undergraduate non-science majors, okay? So that's why I chose it, right? Um, this is the physical copy, obviously. I guess they, they send it to me because they think I'm special or something. Um, you guys can purchase the ebook paired with the smart work homework system, okay? Um, actually, pause that. Let me talk about the other text that's recommended, okay? So that was At Play in the Cosmos. That will be our primary textbook. This will be an optional text, right? I think the bookstore has copies, right? So if you so choose, you can purchase this as well for about 12 or, or $15. But this book does a very, very good job of showing you the constellations in the sky, right? In in addition to the seasons and how the, the sky changes and planets and, and all that, okay? So this is also a very, very well-written book for introductory astronomy, okay? Again, that's not required. The only required text is this, okay? So about that, once you have access to Canvas, right? That means you're enrolled in in the course, you need to do two things. The first is click on one of the published homework assignments, right? So you should see the Canvas page here. Under the Assignments tab, there should be these published assignments, one through four, homeworks one through four, okay? Click on any of those. It'll bring up a page that looks like this. Click that link to open up the smart work homework system in another tab okay before you get to this page before you get to the actual homework page it'll prompt you to one create a smart work account and purchase access right purchase the ebook and smart work or or other levels okay at minimum it's the ebook plus smart work for 39.95 Okay, that's the minimum, and that will give you access to smart work and the ebook for six months. Okay, um, on that pop up page, or, or when prompted, you can either purchase it, you know, online right there, or it'll say enter your student set. Or, right, you do not need a student set number, right, even though you see this number here, ignore that number to the left of the screen, ignore that, right. You do not need it if, whoops, if you clicked on the homework links in our Canvas course. 
all right? I, some of you may have noticed that there was a link under the textbook page, right? That took you to the Norton site um, and then it prompted you to enter a student set. Um, I must have been on summer vacation still. You don't have to do that, okay? If you, if you do it that way, your grades will not transfer. So I apologize, okay? So go back into the course, click on one of the published assignment links. It should prompt you then to purchase access and create a Norton account, okay? Always, always, always go through Canvas. Access your assignments through the links in Canvas. That way, your grades in Smart Work will automatically transfer to Canvas and everyone will be happy, okay? Um, it didn't quite work out like that last spring and it was kind of a, a mess. I'll just say that, okay? Always go through Canvas. Once you do all that, you should come to a page that looks like this with all of your assignments. I've only published those first four here, right? And I'll publish more later on as we go. You'll also have access to a page that's the ebook, right? And so here are all 18 of the chapters hyperlinked, right? Click on those, it'll open up another tab and all that. And those, um, and the ebook is nice because it's in HTML format, meaning it looks exactly like the pages of the actual textbook. Okay. So I think that's fairly well done. Okay. So those two are what you'll have access to if you get the minimum level of, of access for the $39.95. The bookstore has um, a physical registration code. Right for the ebook and smart work. Okay, you can get that. It'll be more expensive, but it'll give you the same access. Right. However, on that page that comes up when you click on the homework links, right? When that page prompts you to enter whatever, you need to enter that registration code, and it should still work and bring you to pages like this. Okay, to this page. Okay. So I think that's the two ways that you can get access to the smart work homework system and the ebook. Okay. So after that, um, that's the first thing you should do once enrolled. The second thing you should do is complete these four introductory assignments right here. Okay. These four introductory assignments right here. They're not very long at all, right? 20 minutes tops, right? They are due by the end of the day on Wednesday, right? And you might think, oh my gosh, that's so fast. Well, yeah, it kind of is, right? This whole course, this whole term happens in six weeks, right? A third of the time of a normal semester. So everything will be quick. More on that later, okay? So please complete each of these four, right? They won't take you very long at all, but I need you to do these to show that you are here to show that you are enrolled, right? If you don't complete them all, you may be dropped from the course as being considered a no-show, okay? I don't want to have to, to do that, so please do them, okay? They're very simple. Um, pay attention to the PDF submission practice, okay? That is, is basically showing you or giving you practice of taking a picture, converting that picture to a PDF, and then submitting that PDF into an assignment on Canvas, okay? And you'll need to know how to do that because we have a Moon Journal, you know, project in this course that you'll need to do that with, okay? That's how you will turn in that. And let me show you one of the apps that I use and like. If you can see that right there, it's in orange. It's called Genius Scan. Oops, don't delete it. No, stay here. There it is. Orange, okay? Genius Scan, right there. That's the app I use almost exclusively for this type, uh, type of stuff. It's free to download. It's available on all types of operating systems. So that's the one I, I recommend, okay? Do those four assignments as fast as you can, right? As soon as you can, rather. Um, so you can be good to go. This is a popular course, so I don't want to have to drop you, right? Because there's always other people that want to take it, okay? All right, so those two things, right? Once you have access to Canvas, register in SmartWork, 
right? Purchase and register, and then complete these four introductory assignments, okay? And so lastly, that takes me to the end here. This course will be very quick. The pacing is very, very quick. You may have noticed that, yes, there are four homework assignments. The due date for those is Saturday, okay? I believe it's the 26th. You will have assignments due every weekend, multiple homework sets due every weekend, okay? That's just the nature of a summer course. It's fast. Um, you also may have one or two lab activities due on, <coughs> excuse me, You may have one or two lab activities due on the weekends also, okay? And then we will have four exams, okay? I know what you're thinking. Four exams in six weeks, is, is Mr. Trelawney out of his mind? That's debatable, ask my wife. We have four exams because um, that's how we have it in a regular semester, and four exams because I'm allowing you to drop one of them. Okay. Specifically, your lowest exam will be dropped. Your lowest homework will be dropped, and your lowest lab grade will be dropped as well. So take a look at the course schedule. Right, We have four exams, um, but one of them will be dropped. Okay, So this, this course is, 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 is fast. Right. <clears throat> um, lastly, if this fast pace is not a good match for your learning style, right? I am scheduled to teach three sections of Astro 10, this same course, this upcoming fall semester. Um, the lectures for that will be live, right? Online though, but still live in real time over Zoom. But the labs will be on your own, okay? Asynchronous online, right? So if that's more your learning style, um, consider trying to enroll in one of those, okay? Um, otherwise, I hope you're excited for the start of the course. I'm excited to I'm excited to start the course myself from this end. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right. I guess thanks for watching.